Hello everyone. Today I will gonna show you how we can use the Next.js for our front-end application. And the Next.js is basically the React framework which we can use it for server-side rendering. It has a many capabilities like server-side rendering, TypeScript support, smart bundling, root prefetching, and so on. And in this tutorial, I will show you how you can start building applications with Next.js. It is very easy to start, and they have also the versatile the producer, like the developer behind for the Next.js has created Create Next App application. And uh, you see here there is a command we can directly use for TypeScript support as well. And I will gonna show you how we can implement this application and make some changes directly with the Next.js. If you don't have the React knowledge at the beginning, I suggest you to have a look at the documentation for the Next.js and the, in the start learning pad so you can see what is in Next.js from JavaScript to React, React to Next.js and the, how the Next.js works. It will give you so many deep knowledge regarding to how will it be used, what is the benefits of using the Next.js, etc. So if we come to that part, I have just created a template here on my WebStorm editor as a, just a blank folder here. And uh, I will just copy this line of code and start npx create next app latest with ts. This ts flag is a means for the TypeScript. So let's create. So R, it asks for what is your project name. So I will call it next test application. It installs all of the dependencies, ESLint, TypeScript support, Node, all of the required packages. And after that, it says you can go to the directory and start using for starting the development server you can run yarn dev we will look at these things and the packet json as it creates here the folder as a next test is here and as you can see on the packet json we have some scripts and these are dev build start and lint as it states here we have a dev build and start so the start is running the build app in the production mode and so we have the yarn build this is for building the application for the production so it will be production ready code directly but currently we will use a development server for our project and i will show you how we can use it and make some changes inside so if we go to cd and the next.js test directory, so cd next test directory, as we create it as a next test, and here we can directly run yarn dev. So look at let's look at the dependencies first. We have the next React and React DOM dependency. The next 12 is using the react 18 and here we have the, as a dev dependencies we have the type node type for react type for react dom eslint eslint configuration for the next and the, of course the typescript as we choose the typescript so here if we go to ts config as you can see all of the generated default generated compiler options has been stated here and also our node modules is already installed and we have three folders in it this is pages public and styles 
but let's look at the, another files first. We have the yarn lock which is used for setting up all of the environment for the node modules. All of the lock of the yarn auto-generated file is here. As we state the tsconfig is there and the readme clearly explains all of the things regarding to the next.js and there is a learn more we will cover these ones in the next video and also we have the next environment types this is used for like typescript and also we have the next configuration git ignore for ignoring all of the files which we don't want to push to github and also we have the ESLint configuration which is just extending the next core web vitals. So let's go to the pages and we have the API. We have also apptsx. This apptsx is used for directly rendering all of the my app. So it gets the component and pass the page props. And after that we have the index tsx. As you see, since we are using the TypeScript, the file extensions is tsx. And the public we have two files. One of them is the favorite icon and the, another one is the virtual svg. We have also the styles. These style states the used styles in the application. So we can start looking at the running the development server right now and we can make some changes and see if it's working as we are expecting. As we look at the package JSON at the beginning, there is a dev script we, can, we should run. So it's yarn dev. And when we run the yarn dev, as you see here, it created a server for us on the local host 3000 and we can directly go here to local host 3000 so it opens our first next application and if you follow this far you have a working application on your local host and you can edit that application anytime you want and customize it as you wish. So let's go to chain, make some changes in that page for us. So we can see much more deeply how we can make some changes in the future. And so here, as you see, we have the head element also it starts in the main and uh, you can have a look at uh, this url the h1 is states this element but if you want to see that you can come here and check which element is used for what there is a home title we are using as you see we have the home styles title getting from there and we have the welcome to text into the h1 and there is a link so let's change that next.js as a first lesson of next.js and when we change to the browser right now it is auto updated the url and directly we can see the changes here so we can customize it anything as we want. Let's say we would like to add another header element as here to H3 and let's say here this is the best header. And when we save it, as you see, we have that this is the best header directly came up here. And if you want to change, make some style changes. Let's revert that back. We just remove the header and also we would like to, let's say, make some changes into the description as it gets started by editing pages index tsx. 
as you see here. So we have the styles and these styles are coming from the home module.css. As you see here, we have the styles folder and the home module CSS is directly there. If you click with this description with your command key and when you click that you will see there is a two description style already implemented for the module for this page. So let's go to the first one and the first one is changing the title and the description and aligning the text into the center. If you want to make some changes for both affecting title and description together we can do it right now on this class. So here we have also the another as we state here on the line 53 on the home module CSS file we have description directly states for only description style. So let's say we would like to increase the font size to 5 RAM. And if we go to the our web page, as you see, it has been changed to 5 RM right now as a font size. You can directly state it from here. Let's say we would like to revert it and we would like to make the font size as a 1. As you see, it gets smaller now and the rest of the states is still the same and the code style. And so, yeah, basically we made our changes and also if you want to change the code here, for example, we have the background color state as a FA, 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 and if you want to make it red, we can directly do it. And as you see, the background color is changed to red and we can make it blue and uh, it changed directly to the blue. It is directly compiles the application on the as we start our development server right now it directly complies and applies change directly into our web application so basically now we have our next application running on our server on our local server we can change the properties styles and everything from now on we will continue the next parts of changing and other things and adding in the future so that's it so far and uh, you can play changing making some changes in your index tsx for the application Directly you can change add some another react elements here You can play with the styles and change the refs as You whatever URL you want to move for the this page directly and all of them is required just by you to make some play and that's it so far thank you for listening and i will continue teaching this next.js tutorials in the next chapter have a nice day